Good morning, everybody. Today is March 30th, 2023. Uh, it's a little overcast outside. That's all right. I like the rain. We like the moisture. We'll take it. We'll take actually about 10 or 15 more inches in here. I love to go to the lake and some of these lakes are down here, especially Lake Travis. So excited that uh, hopefully we can get some rain coming through here in the next couple of months and fill these puppies up. So anyways, but um, welcome. I know we've got a small group today, Kendrick and, and Dr. John and Cynthia, and uh, I won't keep you all long. And I know uh, Cynthia, you were on yesterday. I just wanted to talk about a couple of things and show you where there's a couple of things uh, that we have as far as resources go. Um, in the past week or two and, and or three or four, we've been talking about the new, the new loyalty product that we have and so happy to announce also probably coming this next week, we're going to open up the, the web app as far as the phone telephone authorization to 24 seven where you can call in 24 hours a day and do that. So we're making progress. Uh, I am scheduling road shows. You'll be seeing that coming out. I'm going to Dallas at the end of April. It'll be on a Wednesday, so look for that one if you're in that area or know anybody in that area. And then I'll be going the next week, first part of May. I'll be jumping into, um, into Houston, It'll be on a Tuesday, San Antonio on a Wednesday, and then the Valley uh, down in Mission, Texas on Thursday. So join one of those. I'd love to see you. Love to hug your neck and, uh, and uh, see you face-to-face -face and talk and chat and and uh, give you anything we can. So um, this is one of my old shirts. I wore one of my old shirts here. Look at that SNL and everywhere I used to go. Everybody used to go, oh, you're with Saturday Night Live. And I go, no, no, this show is Security National Live. And so I still liked it because it still got people talking and still got people wondering what is that logo and, and uh, what is that brand. And so anytime you can do that and you can spark some interest and spark people's interest, that's a good thing. So um, we talked about branding. We've talked about the web app. We've talked about paper app, how to submit it, how to go about doing those things. And I just wanted to kind of maybe sharpen a couple of tools today a little bit or help you maybe find a way to sharpen the tool here. So it, when we get into sales situations, sometimes we have full intention of going out and talking to people. And then maybe we just get hung up. Somebody gives us an objection, like we can't do it now, or I don't have the money. And sometimes we just can't get over those objections. And it just gets frustrating because we're like, gosh, I should have said this, or I should have said that, or what if I'd have said this, or what if I'd have said that? And, and oh, I don't remember their name, or I didn't write it down. So I just wanted to maybe sharpen, help you sharpen your skills and all of us together sharpen our skills this morning with a few things and a few places where you can find some help. So I'm going to turn off my video this morning just to say bandwidth and uh, I believe I'm still sharing my screen. Uh, if you can't see it, you know, let me know. Also, I have a chat button here. I'm going to type hello down in here. So if you want to chat a question or if you want to unmute yourself and ask a question, that'll be fine, too, because we have a small enough group today. But if you remember my uh, my kind of tools section here. It is, again, finalexpenselife.us. I'll go ahead and put that in the chat box. And so if you're able to see chat, you can copy that link and get right to the tools. And this is, you know, if you're working on a car again, if you're working on your house, if you're working in the kitchen, whatever you're working on, whatever you're doing, this is your toolbox. And this is where you can find all the goodies in order to be successful at fixing the problem. Or, with, or, or working on the problem. And so if you haven't visited this, you're missing a good opportunity because I've got also running here my how-to section. Uh, hopefully y'all can see this. So anybody, anybody that's online here, if you can type in the chat, yes, where you can see my screen, that would be good. That would help me out. That way I know that you can see me and you can hear me and I'm not talking to myself. But hopefully you can. Uh, I think I've got my share screen on, and so that's in good shape. Awesome. Thank you, Doc. And uh, if you go into my weekly recorded trainings here on this one, you will see also my YouTube channel. This is where all the videos are at, that every, every week I do a different one. Sometimes they're redundant, but for example, last week I did uh, re-engaging, branding and supplies, working your warm market. 
Uh, also did funeral, the funeral planning fact sheet a couple, two or three weeks ago, working leads, uh, new agent training, the loyalty plan, underwriting, referrals, doing a presentation. So there's all kinds of good ones in here for you to grab one and watch it. You know, again, some of them get old, some of them not, but I really challenge you to go in there and, and this is for you, you know, and I have built these so that you have tools and you have knowledge in order to do your business and work with your business and work on your business. So I'm going to go ahead and also copy that down right here. So you're able to see that link just in case you want to save it to your computer or save it somewhere else or do something with it. So I'm excited to, uh, to bring that to you and welcome Leo and uh, welcome iPhone guest, whoever that is. So welcome to the, to the training today. Um, but one thing it, within this how-to section, and again, how to sell a policy in person, and then again, how to sell a policy over the phone. Cool part about that is, is this, this step right here, which has been in existence for a while to be able to call the company and do the three-way verification after you sell the policy over the phone. That's going to change and it's going to get a lot easier for you. You're now going to be able to call into a, a number and 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So that's on the weekends and holidays and wherever also, uh, and do a phone verification uh, just by answering some questions. And so we're dialing that in right now. We should be in ready to release in a week or so. As soon as it does, you will have uh, no excuses. <laughs> You'll have all options to be able to call in and do a phone app anytime and anywhere you want to. So that's really exciting for us. Of course, your rate calculator you can work on right there. You, you also have your rate calculator right here, remember, on your agent portal on rate calculator. So be sure you know where that's at also. And then the tools section here, I think most of y'all have seen me go through this, so I'm not going to. The po policies that we have, our new rate book, our new prescription guide, uh, the loyalty height and weight, and then the security care plan. And also coming down the pipeline, soon as we can get it approved through the states is going to be a change. And now the security care plan will go to what we call the guardian plan, the guardian plan, and that will be good, okay? Because on the guardian plan, then you'll be able to, uh, you'll be able to write the anybody up to 25,000. So that's great too. So I'm gonna respond here to some, Cynthia is on, I believe, and she texted me and on. Hopefully Cynthia can hear and see. Good morning, Terry. Hopefully you can hear and see everything here. So, um, so the guardian plan is, is going to change too. Remember also the loyalty plan, I keep having people kind of forget this, goes up to now $50,000 here, 50,000. So if you've got a preferred client and they're under 75, we can do a preferred plan, okay? So there might be some background noise here. We've got a bunch of limbs and brush in our neighborhood and uh, around the office, and they're just now getting around to cleaning those up. So I'm excited about it, but you may hear a truck in the background doing that. So that's exciting. Um, but I want to jump into here for a second or two and let you know that right here on this appointment setting and objections. I don't know if y'all knew this was here, but this is a real good tool for you to just take a little time one day when you've got 30, 45 minutes and just refresh yourself on on how to overcome objections. You know, maybe there may be a few things in here because every time I, I forget about this and then every time I go back and read it, I'm like, you know what, that makes a lot of sense, you know, and I really need to get this out to the agents and it's, it's really good. So look, look through here at some of, the, some of the paragraphs that are in here. Um, SNL re recommended appointment setting scripts and you can, I don't really want you to be a robot, you know, as far as just uh, my name is Bill. I'm getting, you know, but I, what I would, what I do think we can all do is read this and pick up on a few words, pick up on a few sentences, man, or maybe read it just like it is and put your name in there. But it's a real good uh, uh, piece of information that one of our guys put together. And let me just kind of give you an example. 
Is this Bill? Sure. My name is Keelan Johnson. And, with, and you can say with Security National Life or you can leave that out. I'm getting back with you about the request to get in, to get information on state approved burial and cremation plans. I assume you remember filling out the request on Facebook, Google, uh, wherever it is. This is called a lead. Maybe you know, I saw you in the mall. I'm sure you remember me at the mall. And uh, in on this specific this specific uh, script, it has putting your favorite hobby down because some of our old leads, you had to put your hobby down, but you can leave that all out also. Great. I'm the local field representative for the state approved plans. I'll be in your neighborhood tomorrow. Would it be better to get this information tomorrow morning or afternoon? Or if you're calling someone, I'm going to be calling people tomorrow and I'll be calling you tomorrow at, at, at two o'clock. Will that be good or will three o'clock be? Whatever it may be. And however you want to put this together, basically in this, in summary, you're saying, hey, it's me. I'm getting back to you because you're the one that filled this out. And I'm assuming you remember me. Remember me. OK, and I'm the local field representative for these states and I'll be in your neighborhood and I'm going to be doing this in your neighborhood this week. So then you set that you set that stage and hey, I'm not asking you. I'm telling you I'm going to be in this area. I'm telling you I'm going to be around your area and I would like for you to be able to sit down with me and let's talk about it. Perfect. Are you still at one, two, three, four, Maine? And you said three o'clock, I'm putting you in my calendar and, I, and, and I'd like to give you a chance to do the same. Are you a place where you can grab a pencil real quick? My name is Keelan and I look forward to the meeting on Wednesday. Thank you for your time. Okay, so, so it's always good to kind of go back through these things and role play because, you know, we get, we get kind of calloused or we, maybe we change our ways a little bit and, and we forget about the basics and going back to the basics. And I think it's always good, but I want to kind of bring this to you to, to show you a few things. If they say they don't remember, just say, well, I'm glad I have it written down for both of us. Chuckle. And anyway, I'm a low field, folk, local field rep, rep and continue the script. What is this about, Keelan? What is this about? Again, I'm getting back to you for the information you requested about the burial and cremation plans. I'll be in your neighborhood tomorrow and I want to leave, give you a chance for the information you may have. Great. What time works better? Are you trying to sell something? No, the purpose of getting to you is to provide the information you requested about the state approved burial plans. I'll be in your neighborhood tomorrow. Would tomorrow or afternoon be better for you? Great. So if you, you know, well, if you'll kind of get the gist here and, you, and you, you understand that the script is not pausing, the script is continuing on. Whenever the objection comes, you just go through the objection and you keep going. Perfect. Why don't you call me back at a later time? I'd be glad to do that, but this will only take a moment to set this up for you. I'll be in your neighborhood tomorrow. What would be better for you? If they still won't schedule, at least agree to the day and the time they call back. Okay. Let me talk to my husband and wife. If you've been in, everybody says that, you know, let me talk to my husband and wife. That's not a problem. However, this will only take a few moments to confirm a day and time. And if that doesn't work for your spouse, just give me a call back. And we can arrange a different time. If they still don't agree, they continue with, I'll be in your neighborhood tomorrow. Perfect. Now, these are pretty bold, and this is pretty straightforward, you know, with these. And some people are just going to kind of get really ugly and mean with you. No, I told you not to. <laughs> and that's okay, because here's what I'd rather do. I would rather weed out the ones that really don't want me coming to see them right out front versus just going and seeing them and, and them just trying to kick me out of the house. Okay. And when you get to the point where you're kind of going brashly is that I'm just here to get you the information. Listen, you're the one that wrote this information down and I'm here to get you this information. It'll only take a few minutes. When's a good time for you? You're catching me at a bad time and I'm too busy. I understand that. And so if you acknowledge their objection, but then you overcome it. So you acknowledge, I understand. However, this will only take a few moments. I'll be in your neighbor tomorrow. They still won't agree to call them back at that time. And you can read you can read through these slowly too at your own pace because everybody can read, I know, and, and move forward with it. Uh, I am okay with making an appointment, but wonder if you can call me before you come by. I would love to do that. 
but I'd rather just stop by since I'll be in the neighborhood. If you're not home for some reason, we can reschedule. For now, let's just set up the day and time, and I'll be there. Fair enough. If they still want you to call after that, call them and leave your name and number with them. But plan to show up anyways. I already have insurance. That's great. Most of the people I meet with already do as well have insurance, okay? My job is just to get you that information. I'll be in your neighborhood tomorrow. Would tomorrow morning or afternoon be better for you? Can you just mail it to me? I would love to do that. So you're acknowledging it. I would, it would make my job much easier. However, this information is personalized for each person. So I need to drop it off. That's an interesting one right there. So they say, can you just mail it? And you say, well, it's personalized. I'd really like to just get it to you. When's going to be a good time? I'll be in your neighborhood. Okay. And I know some of y'all aren't neighborhood knockers and you're not going to go out into the public as far as it goes to, to go door knocking things. And I mean, you know, Again, this business is a lot about that, uh, you know, a lot about being, you know, in the neighborhoods and things. But if you're not going to, that's OK. Change your script up a little bit. All right. I'll call you back tomorrow. What time? I'll call you back Tuesday. What time? I'll call you back Wednesday. What time? Can you just drop it off at my door? Well, I'd love to do that. It would make my job a lot easier. However, this information is personalized and the company requires me to verify it with you in a person. The company requires me to verify with you. I'll be in your neighborhood tomorrow, which would be better. Okay. So these are some objections that I challenge you to kind of read through, develop what you, what your style is, but know that a lot of these are still the same. You acknowledge what they're saying. I do understand that. But in turn, you're trying to set the appointment with them. You're trying to get them to, to just slow down for a second and think about it and say, okay, Say, so, yeah, I did. I did actually want a little information and I did, you know, want to want to visit with someone. And a lot of people are like, well, I didn't ask for you to come by. I just asked for a quote online. And you can say, you know, I, I, I understand that. You know, I understand that you probably want a quote online. I'm out here in the area anyways. I got your information. I'll be glad to get it to you in person. And, you know, some people are going to say no. Some people are going to get mad. Some people may chew you out or cuss you out, whatever. And that's okay, because at the end of the day, here's the deal. At the end of the day, if you work hard at trying to get this information to people in a, in a way that you're just trying to serve them, you're just trying to get it to them versus sell them something, you know, you can sleep at night and lay your head on a pillow going, you know what, I did try. And if they don't acknowledge it and they don't want it, that's, that's their business. Uh, but at least I tried, and at least I gave it my best shot because here's the deal you know people don't know what it really is about until you get in there and can give them put your best foot forward until you can get in there and show them what it's like i mean millions of people would have loved a kirby vacuum cleaner but they didn't want the kirby salesman in their house uh you know so i i, I do get it and i do get that it's not an easy you know opportunity here but maybe if you just change your approach in some of these ways you know and as we all we all get busy with our own approach. We all get used to what we're saying. And before you know it, we've, we've, uh, we've got an accent. Or before we know it, we've morphed our ways into something else. And before you know it, we're, we're taking the left road instead of the right road. And that's just nature. That's habit. That's just a creature of habit. So think, I wanted to kind of bring a little bit of these objections to you this morning just to kind of think about and, and talk about and stew on. And if you've got your own, I really suggest you write your own down. What is your objection overcomer? You know, and then have that as a system. Learn that, repeat it. That way it comes out so natural and you don't get stumped when somebody says, can you just leave it at my door? And you go, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Whatever you want. Yeah, uh, you know, so... So think about those. Maybe you want to change yours a little bit. Maybe you want to go forward with a different one. Maybe you want to practice. Also down here are some scripts, voicemail scripts. So if you have to leave somebody a, a voicemail, hi, Bill, this is Keelan Johnson. I'm getting back with you about your request for the new information. I'm a local field rep in the area. Please give me a quick call back to set up a time for delivery, to set up a time for delivery. You know, everybody is used to Amazon packages or FedEx packages and, and things like that. But get ready for a delivery. Thanks, Bill. Again, it's Keelan Johnson. My number is 
blah, blah, blah. That number again is blah, blah, blah. So if you call somebody, you're calling and you don't know what to say or when, when the voicemail picks up, say that. You know, just try to say that again over and over. If you text someone, I suggest, I, su I strongly suggest you buy, you buy leads. And again, when you see my beat the lead here, I'm a big fan of calling people, leaving a voicemail, calling them again, leaving them a voicemail, texting them, sending them a copy of your business card, Haystack. Uh, text them again with a copy of the lead with their information on it. And then text them again and say, hey, I'm going to be out in your area on Wednesday of next week. Uh, is that a good day? Write those down, collect you about 10 or 15 addresses, find a beautiful day, look at your weather and put it in the route for me and get in your vehicle and go hit 10 leads. Take your bunch of apps, bunch of presentations, blue shirt, lanyard and go get them, you know, because here's the thing. At some point in time, they did request it and you're just there to give it to them. And if they don't remember doing it, that's fine anyways, because everybody needs coverage and everybody needs a policy. And all you have to do is say, well, I'm sorry, you know, I'm just out here doing my job. I'm trying to get this information out to you and would like to visit with you. And I promise you doing that enough times, you're going to be successful in some of it. OK, and that's all it takes. It just takes a little bit to be successful. Text script. Hey, Bill, it's Keelan. I'm getting back with you about your request for new information. I'm a local field rep. I'll be in your area on Tuesday. So should I drop this off in the morning or afternoon? That's the only question. Not do can I drop this off? I am going to drop this off. Would it be morning or afternoon? You'll be surprised how many people respond to a text. Even if it's what is this about or, or no or sure. How about the morning or, you know, who is this type deal? And that's all you need is just a conversation starter. So you just looking for some response, that ping pong game where you hit the ball over and they hit it back. Email. Emails are not out of the out of the uh, the script here. And a lot of these Google leads and stuff, when you look at these leads uh, on Internet or whatever they may be, a lot of them do have email addresses on them. So if I view a PDF, some of them do, some of them don't. Uh, I've got an email address here. So when you buy these Internet leads, you get the person's name, you get their address, you get their phone number, you get their height and weight, you get their date of birth. You get the coverage, female, male, non-smoker, and an email address. You know, email address is not out of not out of you know out of line these days. You can email these people and say, "Hey, Bill, this is Keelan. I'm getting back to your request for new information. Local field represent your area. Should I drop this off in the morning or the afternoon?" You see that you see the uh, the similarities in all this. We're talking about morning and afternoon. When should I drop off? And I'm the local field rep or the state rep, however you want to do that. Okay. Leave one voicemail each day and plan to door knock the unreached leads. Here's why. Six calls equal a 90% chance of contact. Calling at different times per day can double your chances. 80% of the sales are made between the fifth and 12th contact. Okay. Very important numbers. I mean, most of our agents give up after two or three calls. We're like, ah, this is not a good lead. Keep doing it. But it's just time. It's just time that you, you don't, it doesn't cost on your phone to dial extra times. Keep calling. Okay. Summary for setting appointments. Setting appointment on the phone is certainly time saving versus driving around. However, if you cannot set the phone appointment, it is imperative that you just stop by and see them face to face. Okay. So be diligent, you know, in trying to set the appointments. Again, I understand it's, you know, gas is expensive and it's hard to get out and get around so much. But think about this. Think about your business and think about when you want to order some leads, start ordering the leads in a certain zip code, a certain area. That way, the more you gather, the more you can build your pipeline in that area and go see people. Door knocking strip. Okay. Door knocking can be fearful proposition. I'm not going to go through this right here, but here's a door knock, a quick kind of door knocking script. Hi, my name is Keelan. I know you weren't expecting me, but I'm getting back with, with you about your request from the internet for the state approved final expense. I'm a local rep. We're in the we're approved company. I was in your neighborhood, so I just figured I'd drop the information off and answer any questions 
Where is a good place we can sit? You're either going to be welcomed, welcomed in immediately, welcomed in with hesitation, or asked to go away. Can you just give me the information? Sure, I'd love to do that. I don't have time right now. I know we're all busy. I don't remember requesting it. I understand that. I'm glad I've got it written down. So when you got it written down and you've got this lead over here and you've got this card and it came from this lead that came from the internet, you can give it to them and go, is this your information? Well, yeah, where'd you get it? Well, you fill it out online. I already have insurance. Let me talk to my husband and wife. Are you trying to sell me something? Okay, summary, be positive. Be persistent and pleasurable when dealing with people face-to-face -face at their door. Don't be pushy into someone's house. Smile, smile, smile. Yes, you will most likely only have one or two opportunities to, to overcome an objection before you're considered too pushy and rude. Use as much common sense and self-awareness as possible to determine the prospect is perceiving you. You at least want to have the opportunity to set up the appointment for a later date. Knock, knock, who's there? You fill in the rest. All right. So those are, you know, again, it's not the perfect world, but in, in, in retrospect, people can feel your feelings and your trust and your honesty. And if you're out there with a smile and you're out there to serve them, you know, you're going to run across people that go, you know what? We've been thinking about that. Come on in. You know what? I'm glad you're here. We, we haven't seen a salesperson in a long time. You know what? I've been looking for somebody to trust. You know what? We've been talking about that. You know what? I went to a funeral last week. And I mean, these things are going to come up. If you just you're at the door, you're branded, you're professional, you know, not too professional, no suit and tie needed, uh, but clean and, uh, and uh, you know, and, and, and looking good. And at the door, people will let you in and they'll talk to you, whether it's on the porch or in the garage or wherever it may be. They're looking for people still. And if you can't, then use the heck out of texting, emailing, and, and being good on the phone, and being good on the phone. So whatever your strengths are, I just wanted to kind of bring that to you uh, this morning. And also, in addition to that, don't forget, you know, I've, I've, you know, I've taught on this before, don't forget pipelines, building pipelines, because you definitely want to be able to, when you go out there every day, you definitely need to build some type of pipeline. And what I mean by that is that if you're going to go see 10 people, then, you know, you go out there, 15 people, and you write yourself notes. You write yourself the last time you contacted them. You write yourself the phone number, the address where they were at. Did you sell them? Did you not? And then the next appointment, if they say, now come back in a couple of weeks. See, I've got some ones to up, update right here that I haven't. Uh, maybe where you found out about it, and then maybe some side notes over here. And if you start doing this and you start going into this and go last contact and next appointment date, you can resort this. I won't go through that today. And you can bring all the cream to the top. And what I mean is that now you'll be able to go in and go, you know what? This Suzette Spears, uh, she said no, but it wasn't a no forever. I may give her a call back, you know, a couple months ago. You know, Suzette, you told me no. I quoted uh, $10,000 on, on you and uh, you're, he's 49. And he's 380 pounds, and and uh, has he, how's his weight? How's his weight doing? You know, and maybe she he's maybe she's like, oh yeah, he's lost a bunch of weight now. And cool, he can he, he can now qualify for our loyalty plan. Oh okay, thanks for calling him back. You know, but he, you know, right here, a couple whenever here eating ice cream. Here's the husband. Just some notes, some notes that you can call that you can put in the system. And here's the thing, I'm going to tell you is that if you do these things consistently, okay, and you do these over and over, and if you follow that five people a day or 10 people a day or 20 people a day, and you put them in a pipeline and you're saying the same thing, hey, I'm the field rep in your area, and with SNL, I was out visiting some other people and thought you might need this information, you know, because most people do. And just keep preaching that. Just keep preaching that. Sharpen your pitch. Go home at night and go, what response did I get today? Should I have changed it? Did I walk up correctly? Did I take my glasses off when I came to the door? Um, what did I do right? What did I do wrong? And I think what you'll find is that once you hit that groove and once you hit that, that, that type of repetition when you're talking to people, you're going to do it in your sleep. You're going to be at 
Walmart or wherever, and you're going to be, you know, doing this the same the same pitch over and over, and it'll start to work, and people will start to believe you, and people will start to believe that you are the family protector, okay, and that you are the one um, that that is going to be the one to take care of their family. So, so two things today, uh, then I'll let y'all go a little early. Uh, is the if you need some help on objections and handling objections, uh, there's try this right here. Maybe go through this a little bit. Understand the loyalty plan. We are writing more people now. We have opened up that market. We're now issuing like 93% of everything that we apply for as applied for, which is really good. And so um, it's time to, to protect some families. And you can do that. And I want you to be successful at that. Whatever success means for you. One policy a month, two or 22. Okay. We do have the lead store is available and open. So if you want to try to try to work, go in here and grab some of these Google leads, uh, you know, right here with our Google leads, you can start a campaign and go down here into Google leads. And these are um, $8 a lead. And if you have lead credit, it gets it down to $4 a lead. Okay, $4 a lead. So very affordable to have a list of people to see or call or talk to. Now the intent yeah, the intent can be low. And are you going to get some people on there that goes, I didn't put my information in there. I don't know who you're talking to. Or I didn't do it. Of course, you're going to get those. You're going to get those. Okay. So just be prepared to get those. Don't get down and just goes, well, Mr. John, you know, I, I understand you probably don't remember that or, or remember at least, you know, getting a call, but I'm still here to, to help you out and talk to you. Do you guys, do you all have uh, you know, some final expense coverage put in place? Are you, are you protected? Do you have coverage? Yeah, I've got everything I need. Okay, well, then I'll tell you what I'm going to do. When I get off the line, if that's okay with you, I'm going to text you a copy of my business card, and I'm going to text you a copy of this lead here that I've got. And if you or your family ever get into a position where you need and you think you might need some filing expense or some protection or a policy, you let me know, okay? But I, I want you to have my business card. That way, when that day comes, you'll know who to call. Okay, so I paid $4 to get my information in someone's hand. I will promise you if you do that enough time, somebody's going to text you back or call you back and go, now, what did you say you do? Or y'all do that? That Those plans where I can take care of this and my family? Yeah, and then there you are. You just got to plant that seed. So never take a lead that you don't plant the seed with. Plant a seed. If it waters and it grows, fine. If it doesn't, they're going to delete it. And you, they'll never know. But at least you gave them your card. At least your name and number or pictures on there. At least they know you are the family protector. And you can put your head on the pillow knowing that if you ever see them again and if something happens or their family, you'll know that you actually worked at protecting them. Okay. So very important there. But um, anyway, just a few things, a, few, a little bit of food for thought on this Thursday. So I hope everybody's doing great. Thank you all so much for all you do for us and for the families. Keep, keep protecting. And uh, you all have a great rest of the week. March is a couple of days or one day from over with. We got an April to start, April Fool's Day. So let's set a goal for April, uh, two or three, four lives or policies, whatever you have. Again, I'm here to help you get your supplies, get your loyalty apps going. If you need help with that, let me know, and let's go see some people. Let's make this the best April that we've ever had, okay? I care about every single one of y'all. I've got my phone on me 24-7. If you need anything, I'm here. I'll do my best to try to get to you, okay? So thanks for jumping on, and I uh, hope you have a great, great Thursday. And uh, as I always say in Texas or this side, adios.